What's going on guys and welcome back to, well, my channel really. I haven't uploaded in a very long time and today this video is just pretty much me going to be talking. There's going to be no, uh, you know, no live camera or anything like that. It's just going to be me, well, today I feel like uh, in the background I'll just show you what I've been playing in FM15. Uh, I've only played one save really and it's this one, it's Boston United. Um, I haven't actually done much else. So I've done this and that. Uh, I've played it briefly in Turkey, briefly in Spain. And I've done a few other little little saves which haven't really worked out. But the ones in Italy, uh, sorry, Spain I did. Marbella, I took them to La Liga, then financial problems really hit. Um, and it, in Turkey, I took Antalya Spore, uh, which with an edited database. Um, but that got boring really quickly. But other than that, it's just this save. And you can see I'm in the year 2035. And Boston United, and we'll see if I go to my history what we've won we've won quite a lot uh we've won six six champions leagues five fifa club world cups five super cups one runner up five premier leagues three uh two third places a league one winner league two runner up in championship i went up through the playoff final in the conference i won i didn't win the conference so i went up through the playoffs in the conference first season went up in the playoffs or third place yeah we did playoffs uh in the conference north We've won two FA Cups, one runner-up, six Capital One Cups, including four on the bounce, and finished runner-up in one. The FA Community Shield I've really struggled in. I've only won three of those and, and runner-up in four times. And then the youth team has done quite well. Um, but anyway, as uh, before we go into further into this, it's a case of why I didn't upload videos, because I think I was going to do the MLS one uh, briefly when I briefly came back before. Now that's because of mostly for a couple of reasons, but mostly because of uh, technical problems. Because I do run a MacBook with the Retina display, which means that capturing the screen, which I'd normally do with Camtasia, gives me a huge file to upload and to YouTube. One that takes time, and two, you hear the fans going on the, on the computers. It tries to render that thing out onto YouTube, and uh, it's not the best thing to do to a computer. In all honesty, so it's just. I was just sitting here weighing up the options, like, do I hammer this MacBook um, by having to put out the to put out the uh, the video? Now, I mean, I love the Retina display. I love it. It's just a pain in the ass when it comes to that sort of thing. Because in the past, I've had computers which I think have been like 720p max resolution, and the file's just been normal. And I just you know hit record and off we go. But this time, I mean, I'm using slightly different software this time, and I'm going to try and downscale the video to get it down to 720p, rather than um, whatever it is. It's higher than 1080p. It comes out on on YouTube. It would be otherwise. So we'll see how it goes. But I can't promise this is going to be a series in the future. Or, but that's basically that's pretty much why I didn't upload. It's not because I didn't want to upload. It's not because I don't like Football Manager 15. It's nothing to do with that. It's it's literally a technical thing, and I was just sitting weighing up the options. But anyway. Anyway, for moving on. So I'll just go through to tell you what's happened. It's 2035, as you can see. Um, see past winners. So what? Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. Oh, you know, if you want to look through, just pause at any point and just what look through any winners or whatnot. Um, I won't read everything. I haven't obviously, I haven't won a Europa League. I was briefly in the Europa League uh, pretty early on. Um, but that's what's happened in that. In the World Cup... Uh, past winners of the World Cup, England, France, Croatia, Ukraine, and France. Pretty, uh, pretty random. In the ch European Championships, I can't see them. European Championships, there we are. Past winners are France, England, Italy, Germany, and France again. Uh, with regards to the Premier League, previous winners of the Premier League have been. Well, Man United, a lot, a lot of Man United titles. They've uh, been, re and they're really good again. It's all because of one man, particularly lately. Certainly, it's uh, goals. Curses, Marsh. This guy has been phenomenal for them. Absolutely phenomenal. Look at his goal record: forty-five goals, better than a goal a game, way better than a goal a game one season. Just insane. This guy, Curtis Marsh, is and his goal record for England. It's also pretty, pretty impressive. This guy is, uh, I think he came out of their own academy. He did. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal striker. Um, with regards to other leagues, I've got France, Ligue 1, 
some interesting things actually before I uh, I'll go through the past winners but uh, Monica obviously as you can see lately come good PSG before that dominance Ajaxio are now owned by a Finnish tycoon and they have spent this season over 117 million pounds on players a lot of my former players this guy is such a legend for me Hugo Alfonso born as a right back he did really really well but as you know my policy is always once they get to 28 27 years old realize their value sell them on and capitalize on that um, Italy Fiorentina are now owned by Tycoon who's not done a lot for them honestly they have uh, it's fairly new Tycoon I mean they spent 27 37 sorry 85 so I guess they're spending a lot of money he might have withdrawn he did is he withdrawn funding no there's, an, there's another Tycoon there's a couple um, who have withdrawn funding so Scunthorpe they've got a Tycoon who's now withdrawn uh, Michael Schwartz they've bought a stadium and spent money in the past Blackburn are owned by Tycoon who's now withdrawn this season as, as of this season they've only just got promoted um, Rotherham Tycoon and who's now withdrawn um, Arsenal did have a Tycoon who withdrew like 10 years ago now after spending a little bit for a while uh, they've done really badly this season actually um, and the US, Granada are really good in Spain uh, not, not title winning good but just good as in they're challenging the top two with regards to this team, this team is now incredible. Uh, I've lately slipped up against Leicester City, but other than that, as you can see, we've done pretty pretty damn good. Uh, what did I just do? Uh, here we go. We went one season. We went completely unbeaten in the league. Last year, was we won on goal difference, so it was a narrow escape. The year before... Lost once the year before that, undefeated. Undefeated. Um, we got it's largely down to this guy, Francesco Cabemba, who is just amazing for us. Just an MVP caliber play. He's just phenomenal. Uh, Ronnie Ben David is another player who's just been a legend for me, with a great name. Bought for three point five million, and he's just been insane. I mean, double double for the last couple of years in terms of uh, assists and goals. Um. Dave College is another fantastic, fantastic player. Bought from Stoke for quite pricey, 28 million. Quasimodo, yes, that is a nickname. I did give him the nickname Quasimodo. Um, he's been really good. Young Belgian. Uh, this guy's a good goalkeeper. He's pretty amazing. To be honest, at this point in time, everyone's a regen, a uh, new gen, whatever you want to refer to them as, and they're all they're all phenomenal. I guess it's got to a point now where I'm trying to find new players to come in, and they're all like one star, two star, and you look at it and go, oh, they must be rubbish. Then you look at the stats, you're like, holy, you know, it's just amazing, the amazing players. Uh, Vajusevic is phenomenal. I mean, I brought him in years ago, and then just loaned him out for a bit. And he's now playing at such a level. Um, well, not this season. This season's been not too good. Uh, Kong, that's another another nickname. He's uh, scoring scoring freely. No goals in the league this year, but he's already got eight goals in Cup and Champions League, I think it is. Uh, Schmetz is another player brought in quite young. Um, who's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, Nils Viani... Yeah, he's, he's yeah. You could say he's pretty good. Uh, Nem Nem, this guy. I've been in pursuit of him for so long. I mean, look at those attributes. I mean, I've been, been trying to get him since like 2031, but Sao Paulo were having none of it. I'm just like, nope, you can't have him. You can't have him. You got to spend 50 million to get him. Like, no way, it's not going to happen. And eventually, I got him. Lee Huang, Lee Jung Huang is amazing striker. I mean, his goal record for uh, Freiburg. Was incredible, and he scored. I mean, look at the on the side here. You see nine goals, and you think, "Oh, it's not that good." Then you look at down here; it's twenty-two goals in all competitions. He's a very good striker. And I mean, the reason the reason we've been very successful lately is one, my defence, but two, because I've always had three really good strikers. Armando Richards, I only mean, just brought in because I let go of uh, Rodrigo, who has just been who has been over the years amazing, amazing for us. Twenty-two goals, you can see nineteen, thirteen. Again, I mean, six goals, it looks like, but then 10 goals. Um, in terms of value, I believe we are the richest team in the world. We are 1.29 billion. 
in estimated value turnover it's not so good 137 million season to dollars we're nowhere near we got our own stadium that's pretty cool although we've outgrown it we outgrown it since it got built um it's been too small for us and inadequate to say the least for a long long time now we have a new owner we have an owner who's not a tycoon he's just a normal in fact i don't know what he was when we got him can we see that uh landmarks uh, go through all these. Uh, Derek Griffith, yes, just a consortium. Um, anything else to really show? Uh, Ballon d'Or, maybe? Uh, if we go to... I don't know where to find it. Um, go profile. There we go, awards. Uh, the Ballon d'Or. I think we've had one Ballon d'Or winner. No? Maybe not. No Ballon d'Or winners. This guy, Leonardo Franco, is just incredible for Bayern Munich. I mean, look at that! Look at that goal record. An eight point rating over eight is just incredible to get, and he's been with them for a long, long time now, as you can see. Uh, easily been the best striker in the world. Um, on this save, I'm surprised to see Pinto in there at third place. Kabemba, you can see, got runner up. But as you can see, just, just it's been an amazing save. Um, Still got a long time till FM16 comes out, so a lot more playing to be done on it. I hope to get to the year 2050. Uh, last year, as I showed you before in a video, I had Red Bull Leipzig and did great things with them. I'm hoping, I still think, I always sit here wondering to myself, who would win, that Leipzig team or this Boston team? And I've, you sort of weigh up the options, and then I think to myself, would the QPR team from 2013 be any good against this lot? And I have to say, I think the QPR team would be destroyed by by both the teams but i still think that leipzig team was i think i got to the 2040 something in that one so a little bit further on but i think that team is better than this team because although with that being said the difference i've noticed getting into the future is that the premier league has stayed tough or okay yes i've gone one season unbeaten lost one game and then last year I won a goal difference but last year man united got their act together and got me on you know made me go all the way um but the difference i've noticed is the bundesliga when you get into the latter stages, there's no real competition. Bayern Munich and Dortmund fell away, and there's no there was no competition there. But the Premier League, because of that TV deal, because of all the money, and all the teams are spending big, and there's tycoons and stuff, it's made it really challenging to win. Uh, the Champions League has actually been relatively easy to win compared to the Premier League. The Premier League's been a fight until the last couple of seasons when we really got, got things going. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comments um, if what, what who you've been managing on FM15. Uh, if you like the game, um, are you looking forward to FM16? And I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do this as a series or anything like that. Um, this is really just a test video to see how big the file is and how my computer handles uploading, etc. But I guess I'll see you guys uh, in some other video in the future.